This is a bit of Python programming that you need to deal with the I2C or the I squared C uh, analog to digital converters. And that's what this program is going to do. We're going to walk through here step by step. So, okay, here we go. Uh, Python 3, 16 to 12 bit data conversion. And this is typically used in the analog to digital converter, as I said. The program logic is relatively straightforward. We're going to take two bytes, which is 16 bits, 8, by, uh, eight bits each, and we're going to convert that to a 12-bit word. So we need to throw away four bits. And those come off the leftmost side uh, when we put these back together. So we're going to take these 16 bits, chop off the leftmost four, and glue them back together. And this is how we do it. Okay, we're going to logically AND the most significant byte with uh, this binary string, which is a 0B1111. And what will happen is, we'll keep the foremost, right foremost bits, and we're going to discard the left foremost bits. So this is how we're going to turn 8 bits into 4 bits and keep the ones we need. Next, we're going to shift that most significant byte, which is the 4 bits we just took. We're going to shift it 8 bits to the left, and in other words, we're going to multiply it by 256, or in binary, that's 256. And then the last thing, we're going to add back the least significant byte to the most significant byte. And then we'll have our 12-bit uh, result that we want. So, here is the data I chose, and I chose 11 and 127 because they are nice and easy. They make nice patterns that are easy to identify, but other than that, uh, no other reason. So this is our test data. Uh, the zero position is the most significant byte, which will be the 11, and the least significant byte will be the 127. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start out with, this is step zero. Step zero, we're going to get our data. So we're going to print out the raw data so we can see what we got, make sure that we really got the values we think we got. Then we're going to go on to step one, and step one, we're going to take the most significant byte, and we're going to logically AND it with these four bits. So again, we're going to keep the four bits that we want, and we're going to discard the four we do not want. And we're going to do that right here, and we're going to print the result real time. Then we're going to go on to shift the most significant byte over. So we've got to move that most those four bits, we've got to move them over. So when we append the least significant, byte, or those bits, those 8 bits, we don't overwrite the four most significant uh, bits that we have. So, shift it over and then stick on this other 8. Okay, uh, back to it. So, most significant byte, uh, did that. Okay, here's the shift. We take the most significant byte. We, uh, I'm just repeating this step again. I could have saved it, but I didn't. Uh, so we're going to do this uh, anding. Here is the shift, multiply by 256, and then we're going to print that out. Here's the actual formula that's doing something. This is just our descriptive text. Next, we're going to stick these two things back together. We're going to concatenate them back together. So we're going to take these four bits that we saved and scoot it over, and we're going to patch the eight bits from the least significant byte back on there. So it's going to look like this. I stuck the comma in here just to make it easier to see. The comma is not really there. So this will be our 11 right here, and this will be our 127. And when we're done, they will all be stuck together. Okay, so here's where we do that. This is step three. Uh, the most significant byte, least significant byte. Okay, so here's the actual formula where we're going to do it like that. And then the last one is, this is how the line looks, actually looks in a program when you're doing this for the analog to digital converter. Okay, let's run it and show you that it really works. And that would be pretty much it. Okay, here is our most recent result. You can see I've been experimenting with this. Uh, the input data was 11 and 127. This is 11 in binary, and this is 127 in binary. It should be 7 bits. And here is our most significant byte. We're going to AND that with the 4 bits. And sure enough, we, get, we keep those 4 bits, and we discard the stuff off 
to the left. Normally there would be four more zeros out here in front of this. We got rid of that and we're just ending up with the 1011 of 11. Okay, next we're going to repeat this step and we're going to do all the rest of it over again. So we're going to take the most significant byte, we're going to end it with these four bits, and then we're going to shift it to 56. So this is what it looks like. Here's the 11. Recognize those four bits, the 1011. Okay, now we've shifted it over and we've stuck in uh, eight zeros there. So we've got it, we've got that most significant byte where we want. We've got 12 bits now, which is what we want, but we still have to add back the least significant byte. And that's what we're going to do on the last step. Okay, so we take the most significant byte, we're going to stick on the least significant byte, we're just going to add the two. And sure enough, there it is, 1011, that's the 11. And then the, the zero uh, from the 127, if it was 128, this would be one, but 127. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as we expect, plus the leading zero for 127. And this is what it would look like uh, as we fed it to the analog to digital converter. Here's the decimal equivalent, 2,943, and the binary. Okay, well that's it. That is how you uh, convert a 2-byte, 16-bit uh, set of data into a 12-bit word for using the I2C analog to digital converter or uh, anything along those lines. Okay, well I hope you found it useful and interesting in your Raspberry Pi experimentation.